yes. Let's soak it all in, guys. Welcome to Corvantes Coliseum. I'm back with another video. Uh, dude, right now we're going to be talking about the elephant in the room when it comes to Kyrie Irving, Kanye West, Aaron Carter, and Takeoff. You know, a lot of eerie things have been going on lately. I don't care what you believe in, your religion, how you think. This is my opinion. I'm just speaking to my fellow subscribers, just letting them know what something just doesn't feel right and that I just want every you know everybody that I care about to be prepared to have proper discernment and just be on your p's and q's because it's a lot of weird stuff going on very eerie stuff just worldwide period a lot of of secret speculation of war dude this this is a lot of prophecies being fulfilled with all these celebrity deaths so all the all the rumors of war, World War Three on the rise, a lot a lot of rumors about um, food shortages. Guys, this is signs of the time. My dad's a pastor. If you guys don't know, I'm not here to strike fear, but everything that's going on right now, I just wanted to talk real quick. It's not going to be a long video. I just wanted to come out and just say my piece. Um, I just find it very eerie and and not even funny just kind of spooky that you got two successful black men in Kanye West Kyrie Irving two entertainers one's a rapper one's a basketball player and they've both gotten just eradicated they've gotten thrown to the curb for speaking on a certain group of people which obviously I'm not gonna say on here because I don't want them to ban my channel give me a strike or whatever freak that but y'all know what I'm talking about, you feel me? You, we've seen it enough in the news, and we've seen uh, Kanye West and Kyrie Irving be enough, of a, be enough of an example of the people that we're talking about, who supposedly, which I do believe, truly believe that they do run this earth, that they rule this world. There's a certain group of people, guys, that you just don't play with. They could shut your life down real quick. They could take you out real quick. Honestly, I'm pretty spooked, and I wouldn't be surprised at this point down the line if someone wanted to you know what i'm saying take kanye or Kyrie off the map uh either accident uh health issue whatever because mother freakers are talking and they just need to be careful on you know what they're saying i know that they're, they're standing for what's right but when it's just two people it's not enough it it, it blows me away and, and it blows me away too that these are two black men and I find it funny that I, I used to be a big fan of Kanye. I used to love that man when he first came out. Man was speaking truth, he's speaking real, you know what I'm saying? Ever since he lost his mother, he's never he's never been the same. Ever since he's gotten with that witch, Kim Kardashian, his life's been going down the shitter, dude. I I was such a huge fan of Kanye West, you know. I still have hope for that man. But the things that he's going through, we can never really truly fully understand because we are not in his shoes. We're not on the level of like success. We're not on the level of, of, of I won't even say power, just, just the level of positioning where he's at in this world. So he knows so much more than we do. He's been through so much more than we have. So I'm not going to sit here and call this man crazy for the stuff that he says and the things that he goes through. How would we know? You know, that's why I can't stand people judging. I can only say my piece, but I'm not going to judge them for what they say and what they do. Because I don't know what it's like to be in that position. Same thing with Kyrie Irving. And you know what I'm saying? Same thing for every entertainer who's been deemed crazy, lost their life, whatever they've been going through. I, that's why I stopped judging. That's God's, that's God's position to judge people. That is God's position to judge people. I say my piece, and that's about it. But it's just, I, it, it's crazy, you know? It's like Kanye West always has a fluctuation of when he's the talk of the town, when he says something crazy, and it's like he's back in control, and then he gets uh, like he gets off of the leash again, says some crazy stuff, and then you know, it's a pattern with Kanye. And right now, this is like the most serious it's ever been for him to damn near almost just be like worth four hundred million now, and God knows how much he'll be worth after those taxes get taken out or paid for. Because the level of lifestyle that he had before, I don't know how much, how much he'll be worth left. But in an interview, he said it's not even about the money; it's about him, you know, his people, God, and everything. And looking in Kanye's eyes, I never, 
like there's something different about this man right now and he's just it's like he's speaking in code you feel me but you know you know us as people you know we're dumb as freak you know what i'm saying we're stupid we can't even fathom and crack the code of what these celebrities entertainers or people are trying to say if y'all don't want to believe in sacrifices that's fine like i said people perceive life on their religion the way they think or the things they do, the people that are around them, the energy that they're exuding, you know, around them in their atmosphere. Listen, sir, me being raised in a, a Christian family, having a, pa a father as a pastor, and the shit that I've been through in my life, you can believe in the spirit world if you want. The spirit world is real, sir. You have the physical world and the spiritual world. It's not freaking rocket science to even believe and understand. I understand if you've never gone through anything paranormal or spiritual, I have, so I understand on both ends. And also, it also, you know, lies on you being a true believer of God, and if you believe the devil is real or not. It's not a game out here, dude. And I will say it again, if you don't believe in sacrifices, that's your thing. Mother Freakers better know, back in the old days, the barbaric times, Egyptians, with Anubis, all these gods, they required sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? There was one time I forgot, um, even story in the Bible where God had, um, what's his name? I forgot his name. God uh, told him to sacrifice his son to see, you know, how, to, to see, to basically to see how, how far he'd be willing to go to please him. And then he took him on that, the mountain, on the rock. He was going to sacrifice his own freaking son, bruh. And God was like, all right, enough. You proved your worth, sir. I forgot his name. I got to get more into the Bible. But you guys know what I'm talking about if you're a biblical people. But even God wanted to see that man prove his worth with a sacrifice. Didn't let him do it, though. It was the concept of it. Sacrifices are freaking real, people. I don't see what is so hard to believe. The way, and I'm going to be all over the place when it comes to this, but this whole video is revolving on Kanye, Kyrie, Aaron and, and take off. Aaron Carter take off. Kyrie Irving and Kanye West is the subject of this video, and I want to get. And I, I'm not gonna. Uh, so I'm just gonna have it depict around those individuals. Of uh, you know what I'm saying when it comes to take off, bro. Eerie is freak. The last video that him and Quavo did, messy. You see the messages all in there. There was a skeleton behind him. There was a freaking Grim Reaper behind him. The writing was on the wall, and there's been pictures of the Migos going to these, these weird looking parties. When you are on a certain level in music, entertainment, Hollywood, they have weird parties. And Alex Jones is Alex Jones is even talking about uh, has even talked about it. That the biggest one of the biggest conspiracy theorists of all time who said some crazy stuff and he's been in crazy predicaments, but things that he says is it true? Is it is it fake? Who knows. But I'm not going to take the media side because they as a masses, we gotta be, have more of a freaking brain of our own and not believe everything the media is feeding us. Oh, they're saying, oh, this person's crazy. How do I know? I don't know them. The media could be lying to us, telling me he's crazy and he's not. So first of all, stop believing the media, bro. Do your own research, believe in yourself. Believe in your own discernment, bro. Your, your intuition, your gut, dude. Stop believing what's on these freaking phones, on TV, on your laptop. Shut up. Stop even believing what your neighbor said. Do your own, be your own Sherlock Holmes, okay? Do your own research. Let's get past this, though. But, yeah, man, um, back to, back to Kanye West, basically. Well, let me go, let me keep, let me keep it on Kanye West and Kyrie, because they're the ones in the, in the boat with this situation where talking out of line will shut you down. And they are being the perfect example. They're being... There being the examples right now of you want to talk about us, we'll show you how powerful we really are. And guys, these motherfreakers must be powerful because banks are, are you know, they're losing sponsorships. Well, you know, Nike just, uh, you know, I Kyrie Irving just uh, got suspended off his uh, partnership with Nike. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Adidas, with uh, uh, Kanye and the bank, certain banks don't want to be with Kanye. Kyrie got suspended for a couple of games. He has to apologize. All because he said something about a freaking documentary, dude. That opened his eyes to certain things. You can't even say the... You can't even... When it comes to those people, bro, that we all know we're talking about, I'm not going to say it again. They're showing you how powerful they are. 
and they're putting their foot down. And it makes it more questionable, like, dude, if they have the power to do this, then these motherfuckers must not even be lying because they're making them an example. It's like the masses are so stupid or either they're so afraid at this point that no one cares. We've given up. There's no more unity. We're just going to allow it to happen. We're going to allow anything to happen. You know, that, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to allow straight destruction, chaos, and control to happen to all of us. Because it's like either we're so afraid or either we just don't give a shit. It's just it's getting tiresome, guys. Something has to give. We have to be more united than ever, dude. Because there's crazy, eerie stuff going on, man. And we got to talk about it, dude. With the little platform that I have, I just wanted to say something just to enlighten or inform my subscribers or reach out to anybody who just looks at my videos or whatever aren't even describe aren't even subscribed to me i just want to say my piece and get this off my chest and get the word out of what i truly believe dude what's coming and what is happening and that i just want everybody to be prepared i'm a guy of peace bro i would love world peace right now you feel me that's all that i freaking want dude i don't like to see war hunger people starving homeless people i've become such a, a humble caring person more so than I ever was. That's who I've always been. I've done bad things in my, in my past. Not terrible things, but bad things, you know, and who hasn't? But I've grown past that. I've forgiven myself for it, and I, I pray to God that he forgives me for the things that, we've, that I've done and that anybody's done and that they want to show better. As long as you're showing your ethic to be better than you ever, than you ever were, to be the best version of yourself that you've ever been, God will truly bless you, man. And things will come in your favor. I'm done with the negativity. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, to the Kyrie Irving and Kanye West situation, I just, just wanted to say that these people, with the power that they have and the things that they're doing to those two black successful gentlemen, they are powerful as freak. And at this point, when you're that powerful, money doesn't matter, sir. Money does not matter when you have that much power and that much control. Money is nothing. Money is, it's, it's, it's lint. It's nothing. It means not a damn thing, which means everything to us at the level of humanity that we're at. When you're, when you're, when you are those group of people and you're up there, you know what I'm saying? You're up there. You're looking, they're looking down on us. Like we're freaking ants they look at money like it's freaking toilet paper sir like dude like come on dude this really shows who's really running this planet and the power that they have and if they have power like that they can manipulate they can control they can do whatever the hell they want this world is their playground do you feel me and us as a people, we have to be prepared because if they got power like that and they're, they're just, they're, they're using those guys as examples, who are we to what they are, dude? We have to be thoroughly prepared, have our families prepared, bro. Get close to God or whoever you believe in. Just, just try to be more humble to everyone else. I just want everyone to be prepared. And, and just, I, I want everybody to be un, united. Because at this point, it feels like it's us against them. And I say them very firmly. And you guys know who the freak I'm talking about. Because they're making an example of Kyrie and Kanye West, dude. And I've never seen anything. I've never seen my freakers get shut down like this. For speaking on a certain group of people. Because for them to do that, they have just unveiled how powerful they really are, you know? And they're nothing to be freaked with. And now we're going to go to... I just want to go uh, take this conversation when it comes to Aaron Carter. You know, the beloved kid star, you know, singer-songwriter. Back in the day, man, that was... You know, that's my sister's time, you feel me? But I know Aaron Carter. I, I think he was a part of Nickelodeon. Um... He was just, a, uh, I just knew him as the popular singer-songwriter. But we've all seen how Aaron Carter was going down the wrong path. All those tattoos. I'm like, what the hell happened to this guy, dude? Like, 
Hollywood can can make you or break you seriously. And nine times out of ten, from what we've seen with these celebrities, you get broken down. You are pulverized. Your life is nothing. You are controlled, sir. And again, each each and every day, I'm a rapper and a singer, and I always dreamt of being in you know in the industry, making awesome music, doing bomb ass movies. You know what I'm saying? Helping my family, helping people. But each and every day, dude, seeing stuff like this makes me question more of my choices in life and wanting to pursue this career because it's more dark and demonic than I ever thought it was. It's not a fairy tale anymore because I'm seeing it for what it is now that I've gotten older. It's still my dream, but I'm teetering, man. I'm teetering, y'all, because... This is dark shit that we're going through and that the industry is dealing with right now. So we're gonna go back to Aaron Carter and Takeoff. We all know how we all we all know how Takeoff has been was eliminated at this point. Rest in peace to him. But sad to say, is this man truly resting in peace? Y'all don't think these contracts exist. Y'all don't think these sacrificial, you know, rituals exist. Y'all don't think these some of these celebrities are walking uh, lambs to the slaughter for something that they've committed to or something that they've put themselves in that position and they don't even know how serious it was until it was too late. This is not a joke. It's heaven or hell. It's God or Satan. This is Satan's planet. You play with his. You play by his rules. You you win. So you win satanic prizes, bro. And sometimes it's a prize. That is the end of you, but more energy for them. Just, just I finally, went, I did that reaction to that Hellraiser movie, and that movie really opens up. People better realize, these movies that we see on TV, on the big screen, bro, this television programming, it's, it's all, there's all a part, there's, there's all a sense of truth for every single cartoon television series, movies that is being programmed and played on our TV screens and in theater and movie theaters. All this entertainment stems from a sense of truth. My teacher always used to tell me that these movies and TV shows, these cartoons are desensitizing humanity for what is true and what's to come. It's all desensitizing us, all getting us mentally prepared, not thinking that this is real, that these things stem from real things. These are not folklore. These are not superstitious tales. All this stuff that we see comes from a sense of truth in the past or is still here. We have to wake the freak up, bro. And again, with Aaron Carter getting dying in his bathtub, I'm like, oh God, dude, he pulled a Whitney Houston, sir. He pulled an Elvis Presley. Some of these, so, and it's all, and it's with musicians. You feel me? Ain't it funny? It's with musicians, you know. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson, you know, Mac Miller. Yes, they die in their home. They die. Kurt Cobain. They die in their home. They either die in the freaking bathroom, they die in their living room, they die in their bedroom. It's either a health issue, an overdose, bruh, stop it. What the freak is going on? And we can all sit here and say, oh, Cass, you're just tripping balls, dude. They d that's how they die. They're, it's not a conspiracy going on. They just die by natural causes. They just die from a drug overdose. You know what I'm saying? That's what people do. That's what happens to people. Bro. Y'all better see the patterns. Y'all better decode the matrix quick before it's too freaking late. Because from takeoff, being killed, and then Aaron Carter dying in a bathtub from, I don't know if it was a supposed overdose. I bet you that's what it's going to be, an overdose. I didn't see the, the uh, I didn't see his cause of death, but I bet you it's going to be an overdose. Mother freakers in this industry either get killed or overdosed or an accident. You feel me? Like, guys... Wake up. We need to wake the freak up. What the hell is going on, dude? Something ain't right in the air. The atmosphere of this planet does not feel the same. The way time moves does not feel how, like, the way time moves doesn't feel how the way time used to move back in the day. This planet is changing and terraforming. It's like this planet is, 
it's like this planet is conforming more and more to the spirit realm. You can call me crazy if you want. I, at this point, I don't give a shit. I'm just talking. This is my platform. Believe it or not, things don't feel the same anymore. And I'm just trying to bring awareness. That's it. That's all that I want to do. Because, dude, like I said, the way take the way takeoff was taken out, shot by someone from his own camp. Get the freak out of here, dude. That dude was assassinated. That man was sacrificially taken off the board. You feel me? And now the Migos, whoever's left, Quavo and Offset, are going to reap the benefits. The industry is going to reap the benefits. Satan is going to reap the spiritual benefits, just like the Travis Scott concert. Satan reaped the benefits. You can feel the evil from that concert through your phone or your television. I can imagine being there. What the freak? See, it's a big ass B. You better back the freak up, sir. <laughs> Hope you guys have a laugh out of that. All right, because that's the only laugh that you might get out of this video because this, this, I'm being serious in this video, guys. You have to be prepared spiritually, physically, mentally, please, for the love of God. Because if you're not, when those food shortages come, you're hungry as freak and you want to eat someone's face off, it's going to get real. When the when 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 the when the system shuts down, it's gonna get real. When all electronics, all electrical you know vehicles, everything, when all that shuts down, shit's gonna get real. You better have your canned goods. You better have your gardens grown. You better have your weapons armed, bro. Listen, bro. When things hit the fan. And you have people out there, <laughs> guys. It's just a, your, your movie thinking. It's not gonna happen. Just chill. You're being you're being delusional. Yeah, all right, it's never gonna happen. It, it's never gonna happen. It's just movie shit. Yeah, it's that's not gonna happen. You better wake the freak up. Because I don't know when it's ca gonna happen. You don't know when it's gonna happen. But mother freaker, it's gonna happen. I would I would hope and pray that it doesn't happen in my lifetime. But God knows the way things are going right now, it feels like it's right around the corner. It can happen in a year, two years, three, and might happen tomorrow. But listen, bro, I just want y'all to be prepared, bruh. All the stuff happening to Kanye West, Kyrie Irving, all the, these sacrificial lambs that we've recently had, that, that have recently been slaughtered, AKA Takeoff and Aaron Carter, and a lot of people say it comes in threes. Death comes in threes. Sacrifices comes in threes, right? So that, that makes me wonder, who's next? Who's next, bruh? Who is? It, it makes no sense to a point where fantasy has become reality. Do you hear me? And I'm going to say it again. Fantasy has become reality, okay? It can all be real. Creatures, demons, witches, warlocks, you feel me? Demigods. All this, th all these things. All this, God, Satan. It is real, dude. Believe it or not. If you don't believe it, God bless you. And I hope you're prepared for whatever comes, if you believe it or not. If you do believe it, then I know that you're spiritually prepared. But have your food ready. Have your weapons ready. Be more prepared. Be vigilant than you've ever had before in your freaking life. Because we're living in the last days, y'all. And no man knows the hour no man knows the day that god's coming back jesus christ is coming back but amen the way things are going it may be quicker than we ever thought and i just want everyone to be prepared now when it comes to the, the and when it comes to the entertainment industry the music industry the sports industry everything it makes you wonder who's going to be the next example and who's going to be the next sacrificial lamb in this demonic dark world? 
And when is World War Three gonna pop off? Who knows? But thank you guys for tuning in. This is Corfontes Coliseum. And I pray you guys have a blessed you you guys have a blessed Sunday. I play I pray that God blesses you guys and keeps keep you guys safe. And that's about it for me guys. I just wanted to touch on that topic. Because I just had to. It, it's too much going on. It's too, it's too much going on. Y'all be prepared. Keep an open mind. And keep your family close. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Later.